Hello, it's me Joe again, and I'm back with another stick technique video. In my previous videos, I explained how to play the four different strokes that will allow you to play soft and loud notes on the drums. First, I did a couple of fairly comprehensive videos about just playing a full rebound stroke. That's this thing. Every time I hit the drum, I let the stick bounce back to its point of origin, which is far away from the drum, and that means that every time I play a full stroke, I'm going to get a big loud sound out of the drum. And I highly recommend, if you haven't watched the videos before, learning how to play this really well. Getting a sense of the bounce of the stick, in my mind, is one of the primary skills that you really need as a drummer to play the drums properly. Next, I showed taps. Taps are very small rebound strokes. I'm still bouncing the stick off the drum, but I'm playing at a very low height. And that means every stroke I play is going to be much softer. These are quiet strokes and every time I bounce the stick back to the, the place of origin, its, it's, it's starting point, I'm going to get another soft note because the stick's always close to the drum. I also made a video explaining the upstroke and downstroke. When I play an upstroke, I'm using the motion of my hand to pick the stick up to play a loud note to also produce a soft note first. Up and then down. Up and then down. So I can play soft and loud. Soft loud. I'm anticipating that I'm going to have to play a loud note after my soft note, so as I pick up the stick for the loud note, I'm also playing the soft note all in one go. Okay? Up, down, up, down, up, down. Or I could change down, up, so I can go loud, soft, or soft, loud. Okay? Now, we're going to put those together, and we're going to play each one of those strokes in sequence. So it goes like this. I'm going to play loud, loud, soft, soft. Loud, loud, soft, soft. In other words, full, down, tap, up. Full, down, tap, up. Full, down, tap, up. Which means that every stroke I play anticipates how loud or soft the next note's going to be. And you can practice uh, these exercises just to get yourself used to uh, this sequence of events, but bear in mind uh, there's loads of exercises you can do and indeed should do to really train your hands to be able to play efficiently like this. Obviously if you teach your hands to uh, play according to what the uh, level of the next stroke is going to be, it makes your playing very efficient. Um, I highly recommend looking at um, a book like The Level System, which has tons of exercises that help you develop these skills with a whole bunch of different patterns using rudiments and uh, other patterns uh, on the snare drum and around the drum kit. So uh, this is a topic for deep study. I'm just showing you a very sliver of uh, an introduction to the subject, but hopefully this will help you make sense and, and start getting used to some of these moves. Okay, now let's go to this again. I'm going to do it one hand at a time. Full stroke, down, tap, up, full, down, tap, up, full, down, tap, up, full, down, tap, up. Now you'll notice that when I'm playing the full stroke, I'm letting the stick just bounce straight up with my hand pivoting the stick like so. Uh, another way to do this, and probably something I would do more often, is uh, when I play my upstroke, to use this whipping motion or a molar stroke. Uh, so I'm gonna go full stroke, down stroke, tap, and then up, I pull the stick from the back and bring it down. So I'm combining the up stroke with the whip motion, but then letting the stick bounce back up instead of restraining it and leaving it down, okay? So I'm going up and then full stroke there. Hope that makes sense. So I'll show you a few sequences like that, okay? So I'm going full, down, tap, up, 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 full, down, tap, up. And let's do it with the left hand as well. Full, down, tap, up, full, down, tap, up, full, down, tap, up, full, 
down, tap, up, done. Okay, now, once you've got the hang of playing that sequence of strokes with your right hand and your left hand individually, it's time to put them together. So we're gonna get our sticks ready like this, and we're gonna go full, full, down, down, tap, tap, up, up, 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 done and done. Okay, so that's that. Full, full, down, down, tap, tap, up, up. Work towards being able to play the two-handed version of that. And, you know, spend as much time as you like to really get yourself comfortable with those different strokes. And as I say, uh, look into the type of materials that will allow you to practice that uh, in more depth. Uh, because just getting the hang of these four strokes initially is the beginning of a long process. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this. Click the like button. Um, make some comments in the comment section if you like, if you want to ask any further questions or suggest any future topics. And now go away and practice. <laughs>